Please, can you introduce yourself to the audience? Uh, my name is Khattab. You can call me Kato. It's my Chinese name. I'm happy to discuss this topic with you today, inshallah. It's okay? Yeah, of course. All right, thank you so much for being in the session today with me. Oh, Mr. Qatar, please, can you tell us what are the difficulty you have gone through or just for this period of time you've been here in China? Yeah, of course. W one of them is the food. The food, uh, you know, is the important thing in, in this life. In, yeah, 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 we watch yeah. it in your stomach, it's what you are. Yeah, <laughs> you have to live this, in this life. First, when I came here, I went to I went to a restaurant. I didn't know what to tell him, even. I can't even speak. Yeah. I just can't say ni hao, ni hao. <laughs> just, yes, I ni just hao. wanted at the food, I told him I want this one. It was not that good, but I just, I was hungry. You have it to put anything. something in your stomach. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I understand. Me, when I came to China too, it was like that. Because I don't have that idea of the language, uh, you know, this language, mm -hmm. very rare stuff. And I was like, I went to the store to get some stuff like cream. As I went to the store, I just say, okay, let me buy some cream. And I pick about cream to use at home. When I got home, after taking shower, then I tried to apply the cream on my body. To tell you the fact, what I bought was a shampoo. <laughs> I said, what? What's this? So I went back to the cellar. I say, I went with a Chinese friend that can speak English. And I said, please, can you help me translate this to the cellar? What I bought, I, it, I think it's a mistake. So the cellar said, you bought shampoo, not cream. <laughs> I said, God. So uh, this is how it is. And that was my first challenge and experience. So I think so many people pass all these challenges, but yeah. it's normal to, to pass all those tests. And that was the thing that pushed me to learn more of Chinese, not to, I don't need to be de de depending on somebody to help me buy things or go to the grocery store and buy some things I want for myself. So that's a normal thing. So anybody who's coming to the China show, at least have a, a knowledge. Yeah, of course, before I come, I start studying like the basic things. Oh, so that's, that's quite good. 